Welcome to the channel. Today, we're going to talk about getting unclaimed money from the state and from lawsuits because you are owed some free money, hopefully. So you might have heard of this company called Facebook. It's really big on privacy, especially infringing on your data privacy. So if you had a Facebook account between May 24th, 2007 and December 22nd, 2022, you can claim part of a $725 million settlement over data privacy. The settlement was reached in response to a class action lawsuit that had accused Facebook of allowing third parties, such as Cambridge Analytica, to access private user information and of deceiving users, like myself, regarding its privacy policies. To apply for a settlement payment, users must complete a claim form online or by mail. The deadline for submitting a form is August 25th, 2023. The exact amount of the payment is not yet known, but it's a really simple questionnaire form. So look in the description below and click on it and fill it out. So this is the link. All you need to do is, you know, you can read the general instructions and the FAQ page here. But once you do that, you can fill out your name, your address, your details, and then your email, phone number, and Facebook username. The easiest way for me to locate my Facebook username is to do it through the mobile app. So to find your Facebook username to complete the form, go to the mobile app, click your profile picture in the upper left-hand corner, then click the three dots right beside edit profile, and then just scroll down and then you can see your profile link. The last part after the slash is your username on Facebook. So you can just copy that if you want or just type it out and put it on the form. So once you figure out your username, then you can get paid through PayPal, Venmo, Zelle, direct deposit, all of these options, and then just signature and submit and make sure to save it for your records. You will also get a confirmation email that you can save as well. And then hopefully you'll get your money. So when should you get your money and how much? Well, we don't know yet, but the final approval hearing for the settlement is on September 7th, 2023. So sometime after that, you should receive money, hopefully. I also included another link in the description below as well if you want to look at more possible lawsuits that you could get money from. So at topclassactions.com, you can see Parker Hennefin data breach here, um, Allura Fiber Cement, Horizon Shingles, Facebook, false advertising on Rinsen Oil. So just look through these, see if you qualify, and if you do, submit a claim form and get some free money. You can also get stuff in the mail probably about lawsuits if you qualify for them. I suggest always making sure Googling it, researching it on your own, make sure it's a legitimate settlement before giving away your private information. And make sure to save all your submission forms as well for your records. Now, not only can you get money from lawsuits, but you can also get money that you might have accidentally forgotten about. So if a business, a financial institution, a bank, a government owes you money that you didn't collect, this would be considered unclaimed. And for the most part, you know, you usually would know about this, but Maybe you forgot about an old bank account that you had 10 years ago, or maybe about some old bonds that your grandmother set up for you like decades ago or something, and you kind of just didn't know about things. Well, there's a link in the description below where you can search by state if you're owed money. So this is from FDIC. Um, you can see lots of states. We're gonna go with Florida, for example. And you can see, oh, there might be savings bank accounts, utility deposits, federal court agencies, liquidations, wages, a lot of different things that you could possibly be owed money for. So we're going to go to the unclaimed property website here and you can join Florida's treasure hunt and you can see that one in five Floridians has unclaimed funds from a forgotten financial account. That's 20% of people. Well, we can search for unclaimed property by clicking this big green button. Let's type in your last name, your first name, your middle name, your city, your zip code, I'm not a robot, and search it up and see if you're owed any money from Florida. And if you live in a different state, just click your appropriate state. If you live in multiple states, 
click multiple states and search it up and see if you're owed money. I would also just make sure that the ending is in .gov to signify that it's a government website so that you know that you're on a legitimate website and you don't get scammed. So just make sure you use the appropriate brain power and look at the .gov. There's also another link in the description below as well for you to search up even more ways to find free money. So how to find unclaimed money from the government. We talked about the state, there's also employers, insurance money, tax refunds, investments, bank failures, lots of these other things. Just go through them if you haven't already and make sure you're owed all the money that you should get. Hopefully this helped you out. I feel like for most people you had a Facebook account, so definitely do that claim if you want that money. This is not financial legal advice. I'm just telling you what I did. And if you so desire, you can do it too and make sure that you get the money that you are owed. Make sure to share this with your friends and family so they can get their free money as well. Check all the links in the description below. Please like, subscribe, and thanks for watching. This is Bailey Zong, That Money Guy. Have a wonderful day.